I got a few groceries to hold me over. This Walmart experience wasn't nearly as bad as the last one. They actually had some things for that were labeled vegan. This, these dumplings look good. I'm going to give them a try. Thai basil vegetable dumplings and some kimchi. <laughs> I was looking for things that were somewhat quick since I am going to be on the go quite a bit. Got some cereal because I'm about out of that and some bread. Uh, they didn't have my favorite bread which was is the Ezekiel bread so I thought I'd give this a try. Everything appears to be vegan. So yeah a bunch of veggies, fruit, and oh watermelon <laughs> I've been craving watermelon <laughs> all right I gotta put this away and then I'm gonna get back on the road well I made it guys <laughs> I am at Ray Roberts Lake, the Johnson Branch unit that's on the north side of the lake. Uh, it's a nice little park. Man, I got a little lost getting here, but I found my way. The navigation got confused, I believe, because I checked it ahead of time, followed followed all the the route and everything, and it all looked pretty simple. At some point along my way, it seemed to have switched things around a bit. <laughs> and it took me to, I, I think it might have been some administrative offices or something, but they weren't, they, they, there wasn't even any signage there telling me that. I'm just kind of assuming that might be why it took me there. <laughs> but it was in the middle of a little, little town. Totally wrong exit. So, I could not get it to recognize where I needed to go, but I, I had remembered the route a little bit. So I knew there was a Shell gas station on the corner of the, uh, when I get off the interstate, I-35, there was a Shell gas station on the corner. I remembered that. And so I started looking on my Allstays app to kind of get an idea of where it was in proximity to where I was currently at, found it plugged that in, got to the Shell gas station, and then I remembered that it was east down that uh, East Lone Oak Road. So I just, the old fashioned way, started reading signs as I went and found my way here. But yeah, I can't always rely on the navigation <laughs> anyway, but I like the campsite. I'm just here for one night, but man, you guys remember this campsite because this is nice. It's site number 55 in the Walnut Loop. The view's not much outside my side door because the picnic table and everything is at the back. I have partial shade. So I imagine in the mornings, the shade would be coming from the opposite direction from over here but I have a path right there down to the water I'll show you that in just a minute nice picnic table and nice fire pit lantern hook it has electric hookup <laughs> uh, but of course I won't be hooking up since somebody else decided they needed the, the electric cord and they probably needed it more than I did. But, hey, let me walk you down to the lake. It's a pretty little path. Narrow, shady. All kinds of different types of plants through here. I'm going to have to take a closer look at all these. My own little path. Look at this.
all mine. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm going back up to the van. Let's hope it's there when I return. <laughs> oh. Will my faith in humanity ever be restored? <laughs> so I am north of Denton, which is north of Dallas, Texas. So I made quite a bit of time today and uh, yeah, I, I uh, will be nearly out of Texas tomorrow. I prefer like just two to three hours of driving a day, but Texas is such a big state that it's been four to five hours a day. And um, I know coming up, I have an even longer drive than that. I think it's going to be like six, six something hours. And then, uh, then I'm going to be taking like a straight shot into Florida, which will be an all day trip. I mean, all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm working my way east because I need to get back to Florida. This feels good right now, sitting here in the shade. There's just enough humidity that I don't feel all dehydrated. <laughs> I've been so dehydrated most of this trip. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting something to eat. I'm looking forward to trying those dumplings. I may do that tonight. They do have a couple trails here. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna take them or not. I have to decide how I feel in a little while. <laughs> I'm just kinda I always, when I first get done with a long drive, I'm never quite in the mood to do anything. But then usually once I've rehydrated and relaxed, kind of let the tension come down, I start wanting to do more. Oh, I swear. Are there seagulls here? <laughs> that look like a seagull. <laughs> So I decided I am going to make these dumplings. They're Thai basil vegetable dumplings by Nasoya. I've never had them, so we'll see if they're any good. I'm just going to cook half of them. It says a ser it's three servings, it says, a serving size being five dumplings. So there's 15 dumplings in here. I'm going to cook half and see what I think. It's okay to have some left over and then the rest. I think I'll freeze because it looks like they're going to expire soon if I don't. Before I do that, I am going to stir fry some tofu that's been marinated in some tamari. And because I like it spicy, I'm going to add a bunch of cayenne pepper and black pepper to that. I think I'm going to have to add more olive oil too. So the instructions on these say to add two tablespoons oil to the skillet, medium heat, carefully add dumplings, pan fry for two to three minutes on each side until golden, and remove from skillet. That sounds really simple. And what I'll do is use the oil that's left in here that has has spices in it to pan fry those. I can see them kind of puffing up and steaming inside. I hope they taste good. Coming out nice and golden. Seven fits perfectly in the pan. The last thing I'm gonna do is heat up some of this frozen broccoli to go with it. The burner is off. The pan should be hot enough to finish it. So let's give this a try. I've not tried this kimchi before either. It says vegan right on the label. It's by Jonga? <laughs> I have no idea how it's pronounced. Hmm. It's good. I expected it to be a little more sour. But I mean, it is sour. And 
The flavors are good, they come through. Yeah, I like that. Now, I want to try the dumpling. I cooked them a little longer than two or three minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'll just bite into it. I like those. Mm. <laughs> those are good. <laughs> so I have two more stickers for my sticker wall. One from Palo Duro and one from Cap Rock Canyons. What do you think? <laughs> So many good memories. <laughs>